Understaffed and using outdated equipment, Evergreen Fire and Rescue is asking for help to pass a levy that would improve emergency response times and provide more staff for the department. KPEX's Marin Sue is in Evergreen with more. Folks at Evergreen Fire and Rescue are asking for your help. After a failed levy last year has another chance at life this coming spring. Well over 200% in call volume over this last decade. Um, we ended up with uh, 2,930 calls for 2018. Uh, which was several hundred calls over uh, 2017. As Evergreen Fire Chief Craig Williams says, this firehouse is incredibly busy and desperately needs more resources. With aging engines and not having as many emergency responders as they should, Captain Jackie Smith tells me it's starting to take a toll. A heart-wrenching feeling to know that there's somebody in crisis somewhere and you're already out on a call and we don't have the means to help them. And you know that the next neighboring company is coming from, you know, 15 minutes away. There's a solution to this, a levy for $631,500. That breaks down into $50 a year for those with a home's taxable value at $100,000 and $100 for a home with a taxable value of $200,000. This money would go towards updating fire engines and adding more staff to be on call 24 hours a day, improving community safety. If the Evergreen Firehouse continues without this funding, there could be serious consequences. We could have delayed response times due to inadequate staffing. Um, you know, if we do not have the ability to continue to fund our emergency vehicles, our repair costs, you know, there could come a day where we may not have an engine to respond. The levy will be up for a vote in March. Williams is asking for those mailing in their ballots to make sure that they are postmarked by March 7th. That way they can ensure that they make the March 12th deadline. In Evergreen, I'm Marin Sue, MTN News. And ballots should be arriving in mailboxes by the third week of February.